This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Razi Alkane. I'm back with another tour review and today... Legacy United Beast Wars Universe Silver Balls. Uh, already out of the box. Played with it, transformed it, took some pictures of it. Uh, they got a couple likes. Uh, but picture is not my forte. Uh, but uh, yeah, this guy... Um, honestly, um, at that time, I wasn't a huge fan of the Fusors. Um, Quick Strike uh, really doesn't speak to me. But uh, Silver Bolt over time, um, I like him as a character. But what I always found is that uh, it's one of the most beloved relationship in Transformers history. Yet it's super toxic. To me, you know, it's if a girl who pushes you that bad and he's mean to you and stuff like that, get out of that relationship, you know? But anyway, you know, in Beast Machines, they were happier. Uh, but even then, that was uh, a little weird. But uh, yeah, I much prefer Tigatron and Air Razor. Although that ended tragically. You know, being fused together with your love, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna take a look at this. Before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. that matter who am I all right let's take a look at the box first nice artwork actually beautiful artwork love it nice uh, you know it's called uh, this is a very well done um, you know homage to a uh, silver bowl and you know 27 steps that's not kidding that's a lot of step to you know get on your four legs but it's, uh, it's actually not bad for a transformation. And then, you know, everything we've seen from Legacy United. And yeah, so there you go. The instructions, standard stuff that we got since War for Cybertron. Very clear, nicely done. They show you where to put the weapons, show you how to do everything. It's all you need, right? And the bird uh, weapon, the feather weapon, I don't know, of course, not hollow, hollow, thank you Hasbro, the inventor of waffles, so yeah, it, I love the paint on it, like, from gold to black, gorgeous, perfectly done, except for the waffle, uh, you get two of those, of course, and the clip on the bot, I guess there's a side to it, so, there's a clip here to go underneath this thing here. Oh, wait. Oh, this one has to go there. So they have a large clip for this one. So the waffles go on the inside. Yeah, oh, that's too bad. On the shelf, I would have liked to not see the waffle. That's an odd choice, but you know, happens. And then you have on this side here. As you can see, good wingspan. A um, little loose though. I mean, when you flap it, it doesn't move, but it's, I don't know. It, it could have been just a tad tighter. Uh, he looks really good though. Uh, the paint on the guy, like he's hes gonna need toy hacks because it's, you know, this is all gray with a bit of gold. Looks good. Uh, the red um, spark chamber, I'm guessing. Kind of a weird choice with all the teeth around it. I don't know. Uh, but that, that was a character back then. That's what it is now. Uh, so yeah, gray pretty much everywhere. And with gold highlights on the calves, uh, the toes, and some painted details too. Really well done. Shins. Yep, a little highlight. The face sculpt, look at that. That's, that's silver bolt. No question. Looks... Fantastic. But I have to say that the beast sculpt. Anyway, you'll see it later. I, I think they 
kind of missed it. Unless they're trying to do the same thing they did with Kingdom to have more accurate animals. Um, so, you know, could be, but anyway. So you have the nice uh, wingspan from the back. You have, you know, could have used uh, the same paint scheme from here, translated here. That would have been nice. Because, uh, you know, you have here a, a black patch. So I don't know why. Why not? Why cheap out? And then here, another black spot. Little white feather. Looks really good. Uh, no waffles from this side, but you do have the peg holes or the swivel holes. So that's too bad. And, but no, it's a really good robot. Now for articulation, you do have a very tight rotation. But ra that rotation allows you to do something from the movie. So not the movie, the show. So you turn his head like this. You put his wing. Maybe I'm doing it the other side. But he's going like this, and he has his arm like that, right? And then you take this goddess. I mean, as much as I don't like the relationship they have, I think Black Arachnia is uh, the queen of Beast Wars. Even if Air Razor is my favorite character. So you put her sideways, uh, like from the back here. So they're walking, and now he sees that Cheetor is watching, and he just goes, nope. Well, okay, my camera's too high, but, you know, if you go like this, there you go. Like, nope. So that's, I think that's cool that we can do that. But, I mean, if you kind of look at, or maybe she was in uh, Beast uh, Transmetal 2 mode, I can't recall. We'll see in the clip, because I'm definitely putting there. But I think she's a little too small now compared to him. Like, I'm, he's a big bot, but... I don't recall her being... Well, no, actually, she do, she would be facing him and looking up quite a bit. So, okay, I take it back. It scales perfectly. And that's uh, that's why the head, to me, that was important to have that, you know, look back so that you can recreate that scene. Because I think that's a good scene where it shows that he's not the perfect charming knight. He can be jealous and overprotective. <laughs> like a lot of toxic people. Sorry, I'm using the word toxic a lot. Maybe I should listen to Britney Spears. Okay, um, so you have a nice arm extension here. You do have a, well, you can move the wing back and have your uh, merry-go-round, no, your Ferris wheel, sorry. Uh, and then after that, you don't have a, but you have a rotation like that, well, which is the same one. You have your, okay. Uh, at the knee, at the elbow, sorry, you do have a bend, but if you bend it more, then the dog uh, back legs pop out. Uh, and then after that, you have a rotation here at the hand. So that looks good. It works perfectly. Uh, because of the transformation, hold on. Hmm. Which way? There's so many joints here. Yeah, you could... There you go. You could move it. I don't know. It. I don't know why you would, but maybe if you want to play that he's dislocated his shoulder, uh, you could do that. So there you go. Uh, you do have. If you lift the tail, you do have your merry-go-round. You have a fantastic kick up. You have a fantastic kick back. You have your wonderful. Uh, hold on. Yeah, well, it's wonderful if you lift everything in the back, but you do have a very nicely done Johnny Cage. Maybe I can move, you know, if I move this down, move this up here. Yeah. You have, ah, oh man, there's so much things in the way, but there you go. You get your Johnny Cage. All right. Now you do have a tight knee bend but you also have because of transformation you have a tight knee forward and then you have a very very nice ratcheted um, ankle rocker and you have well because of transformation i'm guessing but you do have a nice toe tilt all right and of course you can take 
uh, his weapon and arm him up. But from my recall, he would pull it from the back. You know, not the side. Anyway. Let me just put that there. There you go. Silver bolt. All armed up. Armed up, sorry. And... There you go. Uh, you can move the wings quite a bit. I mean, there's a huge uh you know you're not i mean there's a restriction here but you know if you push it past you can move the wings quite a bit more uh but you don't want them to go too loose and there's no in the back there's no clip um like you would have air razor well actually let me show you i'm just gonna leave him here but you see here on air razor she would have um she has a clip here that pins in the back so that it's very stable you know uh, but uh, you know and she has a good wingspan too so I love this figure she's perfect but this guy uh, doesn't have a pin like or maybe doesn't need it but I find this a little you know little loosey-goosey oh yeah but fantastic nonetheless I do wish he had more paint application where there's uh, fur, but I mean he's a, I guess, gray wolf um, or gray dog. Anyway, so all right, let's put uh, this guy. Uh, well, let's put him on this side and let's do some size comparison with the most awesome Transformer Sunstreaker KO MP37. I'm not good with MP numbers. His namesake from I want to say Classic Universe, but I'm not that versed in that era of Transformers. I know he's an Ultra Class. I, I'm pretty sure he's in the area of a either Classics or Legends or you know that era, close to 2008 to 2010. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's actually we have two of those. My son has one with a gun, and my brother-in-law family one without a gun. So there you go. But I'm waiting for a new version of that from Hasbro very soon and tiger hawk and i kind of want to apologize to that figure i gave it a lot of grief uh during the review but i did miss a step in this transformation uh, with the uh the legs here to clip uh but uh, he's uh he's actually a good toy like i, I don't regret uh, buying him but uh yeah and basically they're the same type of guy right so half tiger half hawk and half bird half dog so, you know, I thought maybe for a moment uh, when I opened him, I'm like, man, is he just like a smaller version like Cheetor and Tigatron? But no, they're, they're very different. So there you go. Final comparison. And now let's, uh, well, I'm not going to transform him because I want to have shorter reviews. But uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, beast mode. Do not be afraid, I've come to help you. And we're back from transformation and he looks good. No question, like I love the the representation here of, oh, forgot to unfold the wheel, the wings, the wheels. Too used to car robots. But I mean, it's a very good representation. I mean, there's mechanical parts here that you can see. Uh, and then you can see, you know, his hands sticking out of his butt. Um, so that's, yeah, that, I don't know, extra folding panel or something, but, you know, uh, this is very loose, so, you know, when you want to pose him, you want to be careful, but, I mean, it's a very good representation, it's, it's fair, um, you know, you can have the wings down when he's resting, uh, my only thing is the wolf sculpt, the head, I mean, don't get me wrong, beautiful wolf, that's, you know, with the yellow eyes and the, the black fur and, you know, fading to gray. It looks amazing. But that's not what I remember from the show. So now, let's take a look at a beast clip. And maybe I'll prove myself wrong. Okay, now I'll write here if I was right or wrong. You know, here. And there you go. So, you know, that was my only thing with the, uh, the help. But I, I do love... Uh, you know everything about uh, this toy 
so far no problem i love it way more than i my first reaction to tiger hawk in robot mode you do have the same type of articulation at the back legs uh, you know they can go like this you can move this a little bit but if you move it more than this then the hand is gonna come back out um so that's too bad um and then you see all the me mechanical stuff so that's you know he's well i guess i don't know if uh, fusards were considered transmetal i don't think so but maybe they were um but anyway um the wings you know is as beautiful now as it was you know five minutes ago uh the back too but i wish they would have painted a little more you know because it's this joint breaks the paint um and this too it's it really should have been painted and you know without waffles that's terrible wow yeah not enjoying this um not enjoying this but i mean from the back when you look at it you know you do a flying pose it's it, it looks really good and you know you have the articulation at the, uh, the shoulder uh, if you want to unclip this you can to, you know move the leg and then you can clip this back in or not but you do have the rocker so you can do kind of a a uh, you know when dogs are being playful and they're gonna be like their legs is spread out and he's facing down anyway so that's all the stuff you can do with that I like that I like this guy all right um let's do some size comparison but i don't have any transformed uh, beast character right now uh so bear with me let's uh, go with uh well let's go with this alternator sunstreaker just because it's a cool looking car well i did have another beast mode that's the the optimus prime Alleg allegaticon from super 7. Um, scales well it's like i don't know my own collection another beast mode uh yeah dinobot slag uh, from Studio Series 86, fully toy hacks. Uh, looks good. All right, let's put Bird Dog back in uh, alt mode. No. Let him be. For the moment, we are brothers. Well, there you go. Another beautiful outing where she threatens to shoot him. And he's just going to wait for her to do it, really. So, anyway, love these two together. It's really good to have Silverbolt in the collection. Uh, really, uh, now I do want a quick strike, and after that, all I'm missing is Depth Charge, Rampage, and Transmetal 2 Cheetor, because that's my favorite uh, Cheetor mode. So I'm looking forward to, uh, for Hasbro to do it in, I don't know, 2026 now, because nothing's been released uh, or leaked by JT Prime about that. So anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, if you don't mind sharing it, YouTube's not doing a great job at recommending my stuff, so... Yeah, go ahead, knock yourself out. Also, leave a comment, love reading those. Keep coming back, have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.